right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you are all doing well and having a great day so far a little unfortunate news in today's videos we're announcing some apex rosters that seem to be ending and on their way out unfortunate like i said but it is the name of the game in the apex legend scene teams grow teams change make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as always and want to stay up to date all things competitive apex legends and let's go ahead and jump right into this first thing that i wanted to mention here i've kind of been talking the last couple of days about realm and oversight all other apex legend tournaments that have been going down now that people have access to private matches it's not really so gate kept so people that have funding anybody that has money that wants to do a little bit of an apex legends i guess tournament they can do so we actually saw one of the apex casters here right here said that he's announcing a twelve thousand dollar showdown for the emea region i thought that was pretty crazy and pretty good to see and it is pretty cool because i like to see more tournaments like this it allows more people to get involved in the scene that are not involved it allows people to kind of show their shot and I guess, honestly, when you have Apex Legends like Global Series, if people don't qualify for that, they're kind of deemed as, look, they're not good enough. But what if you have a tournaments like this where people are showing out, they're doing an amazing job, the top rated player from another Apex tournament league or so could maybe be looked up as a, like a potential roster pickup for their other Apex Legends endeavor. So I think it's pretty cool to have all of this stuff going on. Regardless, just thought I wanted to make mention of it because I've been kind of talking about it here as of late. Another thing I want to discuss, a follow-up to yesterday's video. We've been talking about the situation with Stunny, a content creator for Furia, who seems to be coming back into the Apex competitive scene. We know he's competed at land before, and we've been kind of wondering where he was going to be at well yesterday i told you guys that basically he was uh playing for this team but he didn't we didn't he was going undercover we didn't know who he was playing for someone actually commented under and said too bad i already knew and did some research who you're playing with he got no response actually stunny said who and whenever he said it looks like you're replacing someone on team bots you were playing under the name formal in scrims on friday and today all the cod names lol i don't know who on bots is getting benched slash dropped but i recognize your banner setup with horizon any day and no one made a response here so that obviously made it seem like that was going on stomp has actually made the official team announcement saying that jay has decided to step down from the team and i wish him nothing but the best in the future whatever he decides to pursue next our new third moving forward will be study for pro league qualifiers and onwards excited to see what we can accomplish throughout this year study also saying i won't disappoint so it's good to see him back in this hopefully they do well best of luck best of wishes to those guys also had to make mention of this another roster update i think we got two more roster updates that i want to make mention here cudnoid actually made this announcement i saw it on max uh, max's announcement straight off and it was so sad to see you guys know that pioneers actually picked up a new third as a sub from team furia team furia did not qualify to go to the algs in london so what they decided to do is work out a deal with furia to get a loan i guess from panders which is their third obviously and they decided to pick him up just in case in the event that max could not show up that seems to be the case now as we now have the official announcement coming from pioneers basically saying due to what's going on over in ukraine with the martial law stuff max strafe will be unable to attend the algs split one playoffs LAN event on february the 6th you hate to see it he says we express our deepest sympathy and support for max and all of ukraine as a result we'll be subbing panders and appreciate furia for allowing him to join our roster for the event we wish max the best during these difficult times we ask everyone in the apex legends community to get loud for max during the algs playoffs you hate to see it i know he's so sad even had this official announcement on his thing saying unfortunately i did not receive permission to leave the country missing the fourth land tournament due to this military invasion it's unbelievably unfortunate that that is how my esports career unfolds gosh you hate to see it this is so sad and i miss all these incredible opportunities thanks for the support man this is unbelievably sad like i just can't help but feel so bad for this guy mandy also said keep your head up everything will be fine one day and you'll be able to show everyone i hope everybody really keeps this guy around and no one kind of discredits him uh for anything of this like, i almost hope that we keep giving him like these brownie points in the scene and keep boosting him up because we know he should be in places that he can't be and it's just not fair for his career to go this way you know he's got it's something totally out of his control you know so i love to see all the support coming from the pro community here down in the comments you hate to see that this roster won't be able to compete together i know max is so sad and i just gosh i can't get over how sucky this is but regardless that is the roster update that we will have moving into this panders will be playing for pioneers and i hope the best for them so wanted to make mention of this this is actually a roster change here that unfortunately will be completely finished you guys remember over here in the algs year two finals and the championships team fennel was actually able to qualify japanese esports organization they actually made it as a duo during the state of covid there and they had to play as a duo because unfortunately apex did not have covid rooms like they should have and these teams were having to play the entire trios tournament as a duo we saw 
while Pulverex was in the same situation. They actually had a lot of success despite not having their third. And Team Fennel, obviously, we all felt bad for because, you know, we can't really blame them for, you know, not performing well as a duo. Despite all of that, not only did they have to compete as a duo, they also died, I think, two separate games due to a glitch in the game that was making them teleport using the Valk Ultimate. Like, they got teleported to the zone and died. No restart was taking place. Liquid, I think, got screwed over by that as well. And teams just crashing and stuff. It was so unbelievably unprofessional. And unfortunately, we now know from Apex Esports Transfer, all of this entire Team Fennel has been moved to free agent because Team Fennel has decided to part ways with their roster they said thank you apex legends division you know we've had a great time had a great run but unfortunately we will be ending things here now i'm not sure if these guys are going to stay together as a team but it is worth noting that it is possible g2 has kind of done something similar some of those guys have stayed together i'm not sure if chaotic much is still like looking to plan with to stay with those guys but i think that you know designful and results maybe have still kind of tried to some stuff we'll see if another organization decides to pick them up i told you guys yesterday that g2 kind of basically offered chaotic much another spot on the apex roster but to pick up a new roster so they might even come back into the apex scene as well we'll have to see how all of that takes place and then cutting also saying the competitive roster of fennel has been released unfortunately with the retirement of one of their players you hate to see it never forget this duo run at champs in 2022 so sad to see how all of this stuff ends now the good news behind all of this is it doesn't seem like it's going to be another org leaves apex cutting away made this saying uh wouldn't take this as another org leaving apex because Finnell says that they would like to pursue a brand new roster. If you translate this tweet right here, it says, due to the withdrawal of our affiliated players, the Apex Legend division will suspend activities. In the future, we will continue to prepare for the reconstruction of the division and continue to contribute to the Apex Legends competitive scene, including FFL. So you'll love to see that they're not leaving. It's just unfortunate that they decided to part ways with this roster, despite the name that they made for themselves at year two of ALGS. And I also wanted to mention, as we close out the video here, Nasky saying there's a big issue with controller being strong right now. We know the controller mouse and keyboard debate will never end. It'll probably never end. And I just want to go ahead and say this really quick before I read this. I personally think that mouse and keyboard is definitely the most balanced way to have a competitive game. It just simply is. There's no outside source, no outside code that is allowing you or assisting you in anything whatsoever, unless obviously it's a bug of a mechanic like tap strafe. But still, that's not even supposed to be in the game, but aim assist is supposed to be in the game. I think that when it comes to balance and having an actual equal playing field, mouse and keyboard is the way to go. But mouse and keyboard players cannot deny if controller support was taken away, this game would die. And we would not be where we are today if the controller support was not there. And if the controller scene did not exist. So we have to appreciate what the controller scene has added and the value that they have brought. But at the same time, I understand a lot of the complaints. And it's not also just to say, you know, screw controller. I think on the flip side of that, if it was all controller, it would be pretty balanced as well. When you look at games like Call of Duty, there's no mouse and keyboard allowed when it comes to the pro scene. You have to use controller. I think that's balanced. I think it's fair. Everybody's on the same field. When you look at games like Counter-Strike and Valorant, everybody's on mouse and keyboard, and I think that that is fair. I think that's the way to keep it the most balanced. Apex having a mixture, it kind of gets a little dicey. It gets a little weird, but regardless, Nasky had something to say, saying issue with controller being strong right now. Controller feels so strong right now, but that's due to a few stacking factors. Matter of fact, controller is not stronger now, and long-term, it'll balance out soon Hopefully, shotguns being nerfed makes SMG stronger, which obviously kind of helped controllers feel so strong. Gibby being out of meta means fewer bubble fights, which typically mouse and keyboard favored, if not completely even. Addition, horizon to the meta means controller feels stronger because this character is played differently as controller player and is typically stronger as well. As long as stuff like this is kept in my mind, respawn going forward, aim assist shouldn't get nerfed, and mouse and keyboard player should stop crying. If we get something like a shotgun buff, for instance, mouse and keyboard fraggers will start going even against controller again thank you for coming to my ted talk and then pvp just saying it's flawed because you only consider algs here and he's saying that's all i care about is competitive regardless it always stacks to the whole mouse and keyboard versus controller situation let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about all the roster updates about all the conversations and i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time i'll see you later gators